hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well and i hope you guys are ready for this new look that i created using um well using but also i was inspired by this look by using the nyx um liquid suede color um cherry skies i've been really wanting to do a more dark makeup look i haven't been doing them as lately as i was in the past lately i've been sticking to more natural makeup and doing like the no makeup makeup look and i wanted to go something a little bit darker a little bit simple on the eyes but at the same time make the look darker by wearing a darker lip color which this is my favorite shade to always wear a dark red lip it's the way to my heart i can wear it by any brand <laughs> dark makeup lips for life anyways i hope you guys enjoy this makeup look don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and if you do subscribe don't forget to hit the little ringy bell thing somewhere down there and that way you can get alerted from when i post new videos and you can keep track of my content and i hope you guys enjoy this makeup look and decide to create it and i will see you guys next time bye ignore the dry shampoo so then i'm gonna take the makeup forever step one um skin equalizer primer there i'm gonna work that on my t-zone on my chin right here on my cheeks on my nose on my upper lip area so i'm gonna take a product i haven't used in a while i'm gonna take the urban decay eyeshadow primer potion i'm gonna oh shit so i'm gonna take the um urban decay eyeshadow primer potion i have not used this product in so long um let's see if i still like it because lately i just um prime my eyes with concealer freaking bright Someone's listening to Bad Bunny. And then I am going to take a little bit of concealer. I'm going to use the YSL um, All Hours Concealer. And I'm just going to place a little bit of that on my eyes to cancel out any redness, any lines. Um, Smith 130 brush because I don't have my Morphe brush that I normally use. My G40 for my eyes to blend concealer. I just use it to blend concealer. I don't use it to just for my eyes. And I'm going to use my Bare Minerals Pro um, foundation and I'm going to be using a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to set that all on my eyes. I prefer to set with my, found my powder foundation and then use eyeshadows, like start working in eyeshadows on my eyes. So for this video, I'm going to be using again the Jaclyn Hill um, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, I was swatching some stuff earlier, so I'm just going to use this again. Hopefully this time like I remember to say the names of the shadows that I'm using because I forget sometimes. And on my last video that I used the Jaclyn Hill palette, I didn't like mention any of the shades, so um this is why i should do a talk through video this time so that i can mention the color so i'm gonna start with a big fluffy brush i'm using this anastasia brush right here and i'm gonna be going with the color silk cream which is the third color from your left to right let's do that left to right it's the third color in the first row so i'm just gonna work this into the crease we're gonna uh, put this on the crease. This is gonna be the beginning of our transitional shade. Once that's done, we're gonna go with the shade a little bit darker. We're gonna use the color butter, which is the second one down, the second on your set, on the second row, the second shadow. I'm just gonna keep focusing this on the crease so we have a very nice transition shade. And we're going to go with the color Pooter. Did I really say Pooter? Poo? 
ter if I'm saying that wrong, something's wrong with the language. Um, keep putting that on the crease, just gonna darken it up a little. Then I'm gonna go with a little bit of a darker color. I'm just gonna grab just the smallest bit with the other side of this Anastasia Beverly Hills brush and I'm gonna be using the color Buns. I'm just gonna stick that here on the crease. Just a, just a smidge, not so much because the focus of this look is gonna be the lips so we're just gonna place it and then blend with the other side I'm gonna take some of the color pewter I'm just gonna put that on my outer lid right here Around the outer corner. We're gonna bring also some of the color buns to the outer corner. Just gonna place it and then blend it. I'm gonna put the inner corner um, color now, which is gonna be the color. <laughs> fireworks and I'm gonna use my finger to place it I found that these shimmer shades um, the best way to put them for me is to put them with my finger so I'm just gonna place that here on the eye oh shit where else would I place it I'm gonna take a very tiny brush and I'm gonna take the color beam. I wanna see how that works for me right now under the eyes, under the brow. There's a little bit of highlight. Um, I'm not gonna use the high beam today. I wanna see how these colors work for me. So I wanna put something in the inner corner. And I feel like something that would look really good is going to be like a gold color. So I want to try with some type of brush <laughs> to put the color Queen right in the inner corner. Oh, that's actually not bad at all. I wanted to like transition from the gold to this. to the From the Queen color to the firework color. Because they're so beautiful and like similar. I don't know if the camera is doing a good job at capturing it. So now I'm going to just do my other eye. And I'm going to do my eyebrows and put on some mascara. And then we're going to go to... And then we're going to do the rest of our face. So I'm going to take uh, my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Um, as always, we're going to use my Smith Cosmetics 139 brush and we're going to start working this where we need it the most. So as I normally do, I start working this on the chin. So I, I don't put that much foundation because you can like you can see like I still need some coverage right here but for that we have our concealer. Then I'm gonna go with the concealer since I found finally my YSL number three concealer which is my freaking shade and I thought I had lost it this whole time. Um, I'm gonna use that for concealer. I'm just gonna put a little bit under my eyes here. To blend that I'm gonna use my Smith 130 brush. I've been using this brush a lot lately. <laughs> I'm just gonna blend that out and tap it into the skin. To set, I'm not gonna be using the Derma Blend. I'm just gonna be taking my Bare Mineral um, Bare Pro foundation powder. I'm just gonna use that to set under my eyes. I'm gonna set my chin here. 
um, my nose area and with the pointy part of the brush I'm gonna set the under eye so for bronzer I'm gonna be using the hourglass ambient bronzing this is a luminous bronze light and yeah that's the color I'm gonna be using a Makeup Forever 160 brush. I'm just gonna pick that up. This is honestly one of my all time favorite bronzers. Like, there's nothing that can replace this. For blush, I'm gonna be using the Milani Baked Brush. Blake baked blush number six. I'm just gonna bang, 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 bang. So I'm gonna take. I'm gonna start off with Fiji. Just gonna place that here on my cheeks. Then I'm going to go with seashells with the opposite end of the brush and I'm just going to place that on top. I really think Huda created a very beautiful palette with this. Like, I don't know what, but uh, it's so good. Alright, and now for the show... And now the star of the show that inspired <laughs> that inspired this makeup look, we're gonna finally use the NYX Liquid Suede. This is the color Cherry Skies. And I'm gonna take oh God, so my camera my battery is dying. I'm gonna take this pixie um silky and black cocoa and i'm gonna put it on my lower lash line so this guys is the finishing look i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i've been wanting to use this lip product for one of the longest times and for some odd reason i was scared of it <laughs> I don't know why maybe because it's like so dark and so beautiful that I just wanted to stare at it but I'm very very happy that I created this makeup look with it I feel like it is perfect with this this look goes perfect with this lip color and I had a lot of fun creating it I hope you guys enjoy this don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to keep up and to keep in track of when I put up more content for you guys and I hope you guys come back and I hope you recreate this or do something similar honestly this is one of my favorite looks by far um, it goes great with when you're wearing all black which is all I ever wear apparently but that's okay because <laughs> that's me <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time